So fellas, this video that I'm about to play here is a prime example of women who do things and then when you catch up to her and you find out and you confront her about it, she goes to boohoo crying, I'll fix it, I'll do anything, I'll give you money, I'll do whatever it was that I wasn't doing for you before. This happens, fellas. So I'm gonna go ahead and play this clip and we're gonna get into it and I'm gonna give you my thoughts on it. Let's go. And I don't went through this phone, she texting her ex to go, bear, I don't wanna hear that. No, fuck that, bro. Babe, it's not what no. you mean. It wasn't that serious. Bro, fuck out of here. That fuck that. Bro, I done went through your phone and, Babe, and you so still sorry. text me. Please your do ex. not leave me, please. Bro, please. fuck. Get the fuck please. off me. It's, it's not over, that serious. Nigga. I'm so sorry. It's over. <laughs> fuck. Baby, I will give you a thousand dollars. Why the fuck is you crying? A thousand dollars. You are not about to give me no yes, thousand dollars. Take fuck me to the bank. Please, come on. You ready about to give me a thousand dollars? Yes, just take me to the bank. Why is you crying? Because I don't want you to leave me. Let's go. All right. She really got that bread for me, that shit crazy. All right, now go ahead, delete that man number, and we get your number changed tomorrow. Okay. You're not gonna leave me, right? Shut the fuck up, do what I said. Now y'all see my man spazzed out. However, he found out she was cheating on him, and he was about to leave her, but ladies will do things like this even though they get caught ladies i'll never understand this about you you get caught cheating and then you're willing to do anything for this man to stay with you i did a story time in the past where i talked about this in particular same situation where in a moment a woman would be like i don't give a, you know i don't care he can leave me i don't give a fuck about what he does da, 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 and all this stuff and then when you see that buddy is serious Oh, I'll do anything. I'll give you a thousand dollars. Are you gonna give me a thousand dollars, baby? Yeah, I'll give you a thousand dollars. So he took her to the ATM up there, listening to King Von or up in the ride. Took her there. She gave him the money. Please don't leave me. Please don't leave me. Please don't leave me. But fellas, once you got her like that, it's not saying that she's gonna stop cheating on you because she's still gonna mess around as long as she knows she can buy you with money. <laughs> buy you with money. As long as she can do that, everything is cool. But the thing is, fellas, you should always keep it cordial, keep it player, whether this was his main or not. You can't put anything past women. Women will do things in a moment and they feel like they're on top of the world. Then when they risk losing you, whether you're a pookie, whether you're a good guy, whether you're just whoever, she'll do this in a moment. You have to make her fix things if you decide to stay with her or you're just going to play around with her. You can't take a woman like this seriously that will cheat on you. And I think Buddy knew that he got $1,000 out of the deal. Please don't leave me, please don't leave. Women have done this countless times when they get caught. And sometimes, fellas, you just have to flex on them. And you can say, this is toxic, he shouldn't be doing that, he shouldn't be playing with her. She shouldn't have been playing. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. That's what you guys say, right? You have to show a woman that you have the upper hand in the situation. Don't ever violate and think that you're safe with me. In this case, she violated. She may think she's safe temporarily. A woman will do anything. Get on her knees. She'll get her best friend. Do whatever you really want. And that's when you know you really got her once you do that. Now, a lot of you guys in the past, like, JR, I will just up and leave her. That's your prerogative. You can do whatever you want, guys. If you want to up and leave her, just up and leave her. If you want to sit there and just be toxic in a relationship and just throw it up in her face, you can do that too. But if you just want to keep it cordial, be like, baby, that's fine. But I'm putting you on this type of time now and just know you're going to do this and this for me. You guys have asked me in the past on a video, JR, what would you do? That's what I would do. You're going to do this and this for me. Otherwise, I'm cutting off all attention that you were getting, all the D that you were getting and all you just being in my presence because that's a blessing in itself. And that's what you guys need to think about. You guys are bending over backwards trying to be with women that could give a F less. They don't care about you. That's why they cheat on you. They're going for the other guy that's more exciting or maybe they're upset in a moment. Or maybe she just feels like I want to feel something from someone else in a moment. As much as women say, women aren't like that. Yes, they are. Yes, they are, fellas. You cannot put it past her. She will do it. And a lot of the ladies in the comments, y'all are saying, JR, you shouldn't talk like this. Not all women are like that. I get it, baby. 
But it's a lot of them that do. A lot of women do fuck shit. And I wish a lot more women would call women out on this. Instead of just saying you're a pick me if you call out women or not specifically in the sisterhood. That a lot of you women get into and you talk about. A lot of you ladies are not princesses. A lot of you do fuck shit. And sometimes a man could be doing everything for you. Could be showing you attention, calling you, paying the bills, making you feel secure, complimenting you. And sometimes when a woman gets everything she wants, that's grounds to cheat. Fellas, we all know it. We've all been there. You can give a woman whatever she wants. If she's going to cheat, she's going to cheat. It's nothing like giving a woman this perceived happiness or what, whatever she wants because that's not what she wants. It's a complete turn off. I wish I had the background on this video to expound on, but unfortunately we don't, fellas. This is all we have here. And he got the $1,000 out of it. What is he going to do with it? Yeah. You're not gonna go anywhere. In my case, like I said, I found out I did some stuff, which I'll link the video, but I'll give you briefly what happened. She went out one night, the woman I was talking to at the time, she went out one night. I knew what she was gonna do that night and she didn't hit me up after she left. I was like, hey, oh, she, maybe she did. She was like, I'm about to go home. And I was like, okay, you've been out with your girlfriends or whatever drinking, you're not gonna come by and give me some buns. So she came by, she jumped in the bed, and just went to sleep and I'm like oh okay whatever so she must have been out with some dude so I took an extra phone of mine put the recorder in the vehicle so when she left the house she got on the phone with one of her exes and was talking cash money about me and I brought it to her attention after I got the phone back I retrieved the phone from out of her car and confronted her she was like I don't care I don't give a fuck da, 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 and all this stuff I was like okay bet Later that night, she came knocking on my door, crying, begging, and I made her fix it right at the doorstep. And fellas, that's just how you have to do. You have to keep it clear. You have to keep it cordial, man. You can't let these women drive you crazy and make them think that they have the upper hand. But you don't play around with these women. You got women would like to be checked. Women like to be put in their place. They don't like a man they can run all over. And she may think at the end of the day, I'll take that thousand dollars from her, but don't think that you're safe. That's the biggest thing that I like y'all to know. Let me know what you guys think, though. Comment below. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit me up on Linktree to book a one-on-one -on -one with yours truly. Purchase all my books, merch, t-shirts. Helps to support the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok. With that being said, listen, it's your favorite everything. This is JR Wisdom. Stick around for the next video that's going to pop up on the screen below. And that's where I'm going to see you guys at. I'm out of here. Peace. Uh, yeah. 50 Part 2 Bring it back Uh Yeah Can't forget Tony 50